he was cleaning up the offensive glass, and um, he was huge for us tonight um, as far as just being big around the basket and protecting the paint. Um, third quarter, you know, just, just come out, try to set the tone defensively. I thought we did a good job with that. And then, um, you know, they went to the, went to the zone, and uh, the zone was pretty effective tonight but in the second half, but we were able to come away with the win. Thanks, Kahari. We'll go to Andrew Greif. Hey, Ty. Um, I, with with Zoo, to piggyback off that, I mean, he's obviously gone through an adjustment this year, going from role change. Um, how have you seen him handle that? And did you, did you like what you saw tonight in terms of just his raw production? Seems like it was his best, maybe most impactful performance of the year. Yeah, I think um, mentally as a person, he was he was good with it. You know, just whatever it takes for the team to win. Um, you know, and I think he, you know, he's, you know, struggled early on just because, you know, playing with new guys, different guys, and, um, you know, just having to try to find his way and find his niche in that second unit, you know, was, was tough for him early on. But his attitude as far as just saying what we wanted to try, what we wanted to do, um, he was great with that. So he's still adjusting, and, you know, we're trying to adjust to get him in with the starters a little bit more, you know, as much as we can, and um, just try to make him feel more comfortable. And then you've talked about the change in mindset you want to see in these second halves. The last five games, I think you've outscored teams 56 points in the last five third quarters. What have you seen from the change in mindset that has allowed that to happen? Uh, I just think those guys are just doing a good job of coming out with a defensive mindset. You know, I think in that third quarter, Nick had four steals maybe um, to spark our run. Pat had a big block. But um, just trying to get in our minds, just coming out in those third quarters and just, you know, give it that we got the first six minutes defensively and try to break the game open. Thanks, Andrew. We'll go over to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Congrats, man. Thank you. So before the game, Luke Walton was kind of speaking real reverentially about this team and, and how talented it is. But I, I wonder for you guys, I mean, obviously everyone has known that about you guys, but is is this team better this year is sort of handling the having that bullseye and having that, you know, sort of respect that other teams are giving you or the best shot that they're giving you? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I just know every night, you know, we're going to get everyone's best shot. And then we do, we've been doing a good job of handling that, you know, um, just trying to, you know, just like I said, just trying to build habits, you know, offensively and defensively, sharing the basketball, making the right play. And I think our team has been doing that. And we talked about the process and guys are getting better. Um, they're learning what we're trying to do. And, you know, we're going to still get better with time. Thanks, Miriam. We'll go over to Charlie Widows. Hey, Ty, uh, a little bit of a random one here, but can you tell me about your history with Larry Drew uh, and what he's meant to you over the course of your career? <laughs> Um, actually, he meant a lot. You know, I grew up in Mexico, Missouri, and um, he went to the University of Missouri. So we watched. I watched him as a kid, and then, um, you know, growing up in Kansas City, you know, we, I went to a couple of his his uh, basketball camps when I was a kid. Um, he don't remember me, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, from that. But when I got drafted by the Lakers, um, he was an assistant coach, and he taught me like the game, and I watched film with him, and he taught me the pick and roll, and um, all the passes, and how to make a play out of the pick and roll. So then I left. The Lakers, I went to Washington and, um, you know, he kind of lured me to Washington um, when Doug Collins was the head coach. He was an assistant. So I played for him in, in Washington. And then I went to the Hawks and played with him in with Atlanta uh, with Woody for four years. And then um, he came to Cleveland with me um, when I was in Cleveland with the Cavs coaching. And now um, this is our fifth stop together. So he's been a lot to me just as a mentor, um, just as someone who can, you know, see the game, who's been a head coach before in the past. Uh, who's, who's done a great job, but also, also he was a great point guard when he played. So um, he's been a lot to me. I bounced a lot of stuff off of him and um, I need him in my corner at all times. Do, do you remember the time? He says he met you when you were at the combine. Do you remember that? Yeah, he tries to bring it up, but I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks, Charlie. We'll go over to Tomer. Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but you guys are shooting, well, through the first month, 44% from three. That would be the best in NBA history. Uh, I'm curious, what would what has been the key to that in terms of getting the looks, and what's the key to making that sustainable throughout the year? I think just sharing the basketball and playing the right way. I think, um, you know, when we're getting open shots, you know, we're, we're a great shooting team. So, you have, I think, eight or nine guys shooting over 38%. And when we get into the paint, attacking the basket, then we have a kick out and spray out for threes. And we're doing a good job of moving the basketball to do that. So, I mean, I think it is sustainable if we're playing the, playing the game the right way. Thank you. And we got time for one more. We'll go to Law. 
Hey, Ty, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, I wanted to go back to something that we talked about earlier as far as uh, having Paul George, Kawhi Leonard be primary playmakers on this particular team and, and you being a former point guard in, in the league. What was that conversation like with Paul, with Kawhi, especially with Paul coming, he had a career high assist tonight with 12. What was that conversation like with those two players to basically say, all right, you guys have the skill set. We're not going to emphasize having a traditional point guard. We're going to have you guys do that work as playmakers. Um, they enjoyed it. They liked it when we first talked about it. And then, you know, just those guys getting used to making all the right plays and the right passes. And I think they're getting better and better, you know, every single game, just making the reads. And like you said, being that point guard, you know, um, in that first unit and second unit when PG comes back in. So um, they've been great with it. We talked about it um, from day one. And, you know, with that being said, we're going to put the ball in their hands and they got to make the right play, you know, whether scoring the basketball or making their teammates better. And they've been doing a, a good job of doing both.